Good evening, everybody. We are here live for the semifinals and the finals of the TMT Bowling Sunday Sweeper here at Colerain Bowl. Over on 17 and 18, we had to we changed things up a little bit, so we're at four instead of six. 17 and 18, we have Jeremy Sacconi versus Jalen Mosley. And on 21 and 22, we have Charlie Standish, Standish versus Ben Buis. We're going to let you sit back, enjoy, and watch. And we'll be back with some play-by-play -play here in a little bit. And then, of course, back for the play-by-play -play in the finals. Enjoy. By the way, the sound is going to be off for a few minutes until we come back on. So uh, please hit the share button. I'll be sharing it to all the other pages, and uh, we'll be back.
going ahead and jump in here. Jalen Mosley's bowling over on 17. That is his 10th strike in a row, folks. We'll leave it here on this pair. The sound's on now, Nate. Jalen's going to move into the finals with 289. Oh, Terry. James you're right Scott we want turn the sound on turn the cameras to him four pin Yeah, the whole time Terry could hear it, Dale. He's the only one. He's the only one. It was like special sound for Terry Rose to hear. Great, James. Great to see you. I'm actually thinking of uh, doing a Baker Doubles next week. Oh, boy. Nate, Nate, Nate. And no, I wasn't. Hello, Corey Acton. Greg, how are you, sir? Charlie just keeps on striking. Hey, thanks, Al. My birthday was yesterday, though. We've forgotten that thing already. Hello, Chris. Got lots of people on here watching. Hit the share button for us, guys. We're going to have a young phenom, Jalen Mosley, versus the ageless wonder, Charlie Standish, in the finals. Yeah, Greg, it was a pretty good weekend. Thank you, Ed. Hey, Mom and Dad are watching. Hello, Mom and Dad. Hello, 
We'll go ahead and make the announcement right now and then a few more things while they're getting ready for the finals. We're going to move some cameras around. Next week we're going to do a Baker doubles tournament. Don't know what the start time is going to be. I think we're going to probably start at 5.30 next week, depending on which format I choose. I will put out an event page tomorrow, which will outline what the plan is for next Sunday. But it is definitely going to be Baker Doubles. And we're going to have a little fun next Sunday. We will not be voting on a pattern. I already have a pattern. Nice finish there, Ben. I already have a pattern picked out for next week. There is not going to be a vote. Gene, thanks, buddy. All right, we're going to slide them over, move some cameras, and we'll be right back with you. Actually, while Dawn's moving it, uh, let me go ahead and announce and get these guys going. Okay, I want to, like I said, we're doing a Baker Doubles next weekend. We'll start at 5.30. There's a lot of things going on that will probably get in our way a little bit, so we're going to make a couple changes, try to do something a little fun next week. Brian's got his team tournament out of Cherry Grove next week. The Akron opens next week. Yes, it is. Hey, who's that? Good morning. Good morning. So we've got a few things, so we're going to try to have a little fun next weekend, like I said, do the Baker. Also, I'm going to take a quick second while they're practicing and let you know all of our leagues here at Corey Bowl are going to be starting after Labor Day. Nice. If anybody's looking for a five-man team, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, mixed couples on the weekends, I've got one spot available for a five-man team on Monday. There is 21 teams in that league currently. Tuesday, there's room for one team. We have 15. And once the other leagues start on Monday and Tuesday, we'll have a full house. So I can only add one in each one of those. Wednesday and Thursday, I've got room for five-man teams and a four-man league. Thursdays at 7.30. They are all us, all sanctioned as well as Saturday night. Mixed couples every other week. And they all start the week after Labor Day. So if anybody's interested, reach out to myself, and we'll get you all hooked up. I think this is Jalen's first finals. Jalen was in the finals a couple weeks ago, wasn't he? I think he made it to match play. No, wait. Yeah, he was in the finals. He's in the f Is this your first finals or second? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. You got waxed. You did get waxed. I'm sorry. Well, redemption, baby. And you got work to do. Yeah, because Charlie's going to throw strikes. Uh, he's going to strike. Sprinkle a little bit of pins. Wait, does Charlie get pins? He gets zero pins, yeah, sir. Yep. All right, here we go. Hey, Jalen, before you start, press the uh, red keys on the um, it's your, keyboard. It's his first tournament, I think, isn't it? <laughs> it's okay. Jalen's nervous. He might be. Gets on this pair. Gets nervous. All right, my bad. <laughs> What's the combination up there, Jalen? Well done, young man. You got it.
Terry Rose. That is exactly who was in the booth with me. Yes, sir. He's a he's a regular here in the booth unless he is bowling in the finals. Rare occurrence nowadays. Oh come on. We'll get there. It's due. We'll get there. You're we'll due. Get there. We'll get there. Hey, great shot. Is that blonde hair? Charlie came out and started getting some games in. He's getting himself primed for the Ohio State Masters here in a couple of weeks, which Ooh. is here. You bowling on that? I am absolutely not. Why? Not sharp. You're not sure. Not That's what you mean. Sharp. Not, not sharp, sharp right now. Maybe if I practice every day of the week. But. Okay. I know a place. I know a guy. I'll probably hook you up. Yeah. Hmm. Two weeks. Two weeks from this weekend, guys. The Ohio State Masters is here at Corey Bowl. We had. Several people sign up this weekend. Charles will update the list and post it tomorrow. I will share it. Nobody will. I will. Cost for the Masters is $100. There is... Seven thousand five hundred dollars added into the prize fund this year for the Masters. Did you hear me, Jeremy? Seven thousand five hundred dollars added into the finals for the into the prize fund for the Masters. Maybe I will. Yeah, I think you should. <laughs> so it's hundred dollars to get in, or you could pay fifty dollar deposit, fifty dollar deposit, and then pay fifty the day of, uh, which is perfectly fine. We will hold your spot with that. And on that weekend, we're actually going to do something a little different, too. We're going to have an extra sweeper that weekend nice. and do one on Friday night. That is going to be a $50 entry fee. Mm-hmm. It is going oh, to be Scratch. Jody, right? yep. yep. Jody Boyd. Yep. It's going to be $50 entry fee. It's going to be Scratch, and it's going to be four games across the house. Total pinfall. Total pinfall. Come and get it. One and five, get paid. Throw your strikes. Bring your striking shoes, because... Mm-hmm. You're going to need because them. you're going to need them. Mm-hmm. That's right. They are going to be on new pins. We'll have new pins in by next weekend right. here. Yeah, they're they're back in the back, just yes. sitting there in the box and waiting. We're going to trade them all out, put the new ones in. They'll be in by next Sunday when you guys pull the Baker doubles. Are they going to be the same kind as these? They are. Okay, just refreshed. They're the Am flights. Yeah. <laughs> It's one thing Jalen Mosley will never do. It's miss it at the bottom. No, he, no, he does not get cheated. No. Well, he does. He'll flat ten every now and then. But it's not really even getting cheated on that one, though. But he won't miss it. Again, I am gonna. I am gonna ask everybody to do me a favor. Hit the share button. All of Sterling Archer's friends, hit the share button. That might be close. I'd say it was pretty close. Maybe. Well, let's see if Charlie can start kicking some 10 pins out here and get back in the match. What do you think? If now would be the time. Uh, oh, that was in. in. Yep. We are bowling on forty three foot, right? Dead Man's Curve. Curve. We had 66 bowlers start tonight. And our some of the scores through the evening are at at the cut line. Mystery doubles winners was Justin Aldridge and who? Um, Some guy named Sterling Archer. Oh, yeah. They had a 525. Thank you, Justin. Tonight's high qualifiers bowling right here in the finals. Who? Jalen Mosley. I guess he strikes a little, too. He knocked over 751 pins in three games. That is a 
lot of striking. It is. And squeaked into. Blow to make the cut. Devin Hoffer. We had Devin Hoffer sighting tonight. Five eighty six. That might get there. Woof. It's a dangerous he man. A, is he throwing an axiom? Yeah, axiom. Yeah. And how old is this? How old is this young man? Twenty one. He's twenty one. Just a little bit about this guy. Back in the day, he bowled, was it a U.S. Open or Masters maybe? It was a Masters. Yeah, in 2016, Jalen Mosey made a run at the Masters. He did. It was oh, a legendary moment. Legendary moment. <laughs> Never since then, he's gotten better and better. And look at him now. <laughs> Strike. Yeah, he was only, what, 15 years old when he did that? I think it was 16. It was 40. 16. He, he was young. He got the entry as his 16th birthday present. Ah. Got to get there. Oh, boy. He's just hacksawing pins away. I have never seen this man carry the 5.710 like that in my life. <laughs> I think now would be appropriate to say that strike was dirtier than a truck stop, stop bathroom. Yuck. <laughs> Yuck. <laughs> see what Charlie can do here. He's throwing it good. Just had one bad shot in the third for him. That looks pretty close. Oh. Uh, usually he trips that pin. Yeah. Leaving just the four. It's always interesting to see a bowler come back off a shot that was close. And they'll like do something with their hand. Something with well, their Well, this body. guy's got all the tricks. Oh, yeah. He can trick it up. And he throws it really good. Jordan Racky, I was asking about you today. I need to give you a call. I was wondering how you're doing. Hopefully you are well, sir. We miss you. I miss you personally, Jordan, and I hope you are doing well. That's it. Man, That's a good like one. He made a move. Well, he still has a max score on the board of 246. Yep. Jalen with the front five. He has a max score of what? And the front five. Yeah. He couldn't get there last game, but let's see what he can do. We did have a perfect game tonight. He did. JP4. Tripped out the two pin late on the Well, basketball. you know what? We don't grade him. No, we don't. We just mark him down. Oh, boy. He oh boyed that one off his hand. He knew it was bad. Got it left. And like I said, he doesn't miss it. So when he got that left, he knew. Even on a spare shot. Good spare for him. Now, max score of 277 for Jalen. Charlie still has 240. It gives Charlie a little little breath of life here. You a little know. Usa. Yep. Knowing that Jalen doesn't strike every ball. Yeah. Yeah, close. Pert near. <laughs> Definitely want to give a shout out to Kyle Cook for the Coleraine Open this weekend. Another great weekend. And Brandon Novak being this year's winner. Yeah, great Brandon job. This really weekend. good. Pulled really good today. Yeah. Who Novak? Yeah. Um, yeah. As expected. And then Gene Perez breaking out a purple hammer this weekend. Interesting. Yeah, you know, that's what he that's what he likes. That's what he's comfortable with, and, and he. Uh, he made an incredible run. It's good to see Gene back comfortable with what he's doing. Cause he struck a lot with that ball. Yeah, yeah, he did today too. Yeah, his back four to move him up from like ninth to second. 290 or 235, 290, 217, 298. Wow. With a 710 on the 298. Wow. It's a lot of striking. I have to bowl six games to have that kind of block. Me too. Yeah. yeah. 
not easy out here being a commentator and being good. <laughs> it's a tough task. I'll stick to being a commentator and a tournament director. <laughs> I'm right with you. Ah, ball just floated just a little bit. You could tell he wanted it. One thing about Charlie is he will tell you about it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. He knows he knows his he knows game what, though. Yeah. He made a made a big change in his game from years past. If everybody remembers young Charlie Standish, he threw it straight. Hmm. Like very, very straight. Did not know that. He reinvented his game a little bit, changed his role a little bit. Oh, and, that's uh, good. Uh, yeah. Really good. All right, that brings him down to a max of 225. Dale still has 260 out there. Maybe later when Ben Buis is watching this. I just got a text from Tasia. She said with all the money he won tonight, he has to buy her drinks. <laughs> Started a little sooner, didn't it? Yeah. How about that game right there? What happened? Um, can't think of his name. Uh, Max Corwin. No, no, no. It was the playoffs. Playoffs? Yeah, NBA playoffs. And. Uh oh. Yurkic. Ooh. Jay. Oh, yeah. Nurkic hitting the three for the win, for the clutch. Well, what puts him at a pace of 224? Uh, 224, and Charlie and has a max a score max of 225. 225. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting to say the least. Hello? <laughs> he yammed on that one. And it got there. Well, oh, I hit the wrong button. <laughs> All right. Charlie's going to have the ninth and tenth frame, see if he can get to 225 here. you lucky I'm in this booth. And he just can't not can't catch get it a there. break. One, two, three, four, five of them this game, isn't it? Or did he? I think the. I think he left a four pin. He did leave one four pin. Yeah, second right. frame or first frame. But yeah, he's close. Those are the ones that hurt. When you're throwing it good, just can't get it there. Way to go, Charlie. Jody Boyd. <laughs> Yikes. Of course that's going to carry. Jody Boyd does not talk crap. He just talks nothing but the truth, Jalen. Crap. Bite your tongue. <laughs> the best tournament promoter there is. He is. He does his job well. Does his job well. Uh, ten pins gonna fall every time now. Yep. Well, that's gonna make Jalen show up in the tenth anyway. He said to bring some money next weekend, scrub. <laughs> Jody, instead of bowling out house, you might have a chance. Oh, 
Close. Yeah, he'll carry everything he throws down there right now. Clean 14, that makes Jalen Mark in the first. That was, two, that was a pretty good 2-14 game, Charlie, just pulled yes. right there. He made one one bad shot where he kind of tried to overdo it. Yeah. Yep, he needs a spare, right? He needs a mark. Jason Paul's watching. Hello, Jason Paul. Well, he got a handful there. I think the best mark, if you need to win, is a strike. Is a strike. Well, finally, he's he's been close a couple times, but Jalen Mosley has finally won a cold rainbow Sunday sweeper. Congratulations to Charlie on second. He bowled really well all night. Oh yeah, that was like I said, that was a great two fourteen oh, yeah. game. Nothing to hang his head about. <laughs> Get the dead wood. Get the dead wood. <laughs> He's not That's a team not player. He's not a team player. He tried he to add more to more. it. Way to go. Come on now. All right. Congratulations. Final scores. Miss you too, buddy. We got Jalen Mosley. Congratulations, Jalen Mosley. Yeah, go ahead. Sorry. Jalen Mosley, 232 to Charlie's, 214. Again, great mowing to Jalen. Yeah. Guess what? It's just about time for me to pack up and go home. It's, it's been a long too. weekend. Yeah. It's been a long weekend. But I enjoy doing this, like I said. As always. I know I posted last night. Thanks, everybody, for the birthday wishes this weekend. I was... What are you, 25 now? 25. I thought so. 25-ish. And we will put out the... Event page tomorrow for Baker Doubles for next week with a jot form to sign up as a team. The cost is going to be 80 bucks, just like the sweeper. Gotcha. And uh, we'll plan on having a little fun next Sunday. So that being said, everybody have a great rest of the evening. Everybody have a great week, and we'll see you next Sunday. Good night. Bye-bye. Or good morning.